Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. We may be seated. You are welcome. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. I say you are welcome. In Jesus' name. Welcome your neighbor. Say neighbor, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus. I welcome you with a sweet fellowship in Jesus name clap for him once again John 15 you remember the message I want to continue with the same message John 15 let me start from verse 5 starting from July, let me just say, all this month, my message has been sentenced in this name, Jesus. I realized that um, preaching or teaching outside the name Jesus, you are talking about history. Caught me clearly. Preaching or teaching outside Jesus, you are talking about history. The center of Christianity or salvation, so to say, is Jesus. There's nothing that you can do without Jesus. Even if you think that you are greater or you are powerful or you are great or you can do this and that, outside Jesus, yes, Today you can do that one. What about tomorrow? When your enemy realizes that this is what you are doing. Who is going to defend your case? Who is going to protect you? The man Jesus. So living outside him, or going to church every Sunday, or being a leader in the church, it doesn't mean that you know Jesus. Leadership. Sometimes you can learn from any, any school or you can imitate someone and start, you know, doing what you saw others, you know, are doing before you. But if you remain in Jesus and Jesus remain in you, the source of what you'll be doing is Jesus. The fruit of your work is coming from Jesus. Your spiritual growth is coming from Jesus. Your understanding is coming from Jesus. In short, I'm saying, without Jesus, we are nothing. We are what? Take note of this statement from Jesus. In John 14, verse 27, Jesus said, Peace is what I live with you. He said, I give you my own peace. To me, it simply means that even the world can give you peace, which is not permanent. What? Peace. Are you there, people of God? For him to say, my own peace, I give it to you. He knew that even in the world, the world can say, we have given you peace. Not for, you know, everlasting peace, a temporal one. But the one from Jesus is everlasting. His own peace can even see you in that sickness where others are dying. Even in poverty, the peace from Jesus will make you to understand the reason why you are facing what you are facing. Let's go to the book of John 5, verse, I mean 15 verse 5. This is the message I shared with you on Wednesday. 
There is nothing new when it comes to the word of God. I can share the word of God using the same scripture, maybe the months, as the spirit leads. It doesn't mean that since you, 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 you heard this uh, message then, or the scripture, no. This book that you see was there even before our generation. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is where my, my problem is. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do what? Nothing. Meaning, whatever you are doing, people of God, as long as Jesus is not involved, whether you are in a relationship, you are working as a manager, you are an accountant, you are a police officer, you are a minister today, you are in government, you are a president today, you are enjoying that security, you are enjoying the constitution power, and Jesus is not involved, it's just a matter of time. You become nothing at the end of the day. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you bear much what? Fruits. What you are doing today, the progress that you are making now, the increase that you have seen in your life, you are in Jesus. That progress will keep on growing and growing because Jesus doesn't know how to fail. Jesus is not a failure. No one can defeat Jesus. The money that you are making today, Jesus is part of your money. You make more money, more than the one you are making today. The relationship that you are enjoying today with your family, your husband, your children, your fiancé, you are in Jesus. Jesus is in that relationship. You enjoy more than what you are enjoying today. Jesus is telling you that if you remain in him, his joy will remain in you permanently. Nothing that can bring you down. The mistake that we are making people of God, we trust what we learn from our fellow human beings. Education is good, but education without Jesus will make you to be the enemy of God. You trust what you learn from school more than the one who made you to be a human being. Come on, people of God, understand this statement from Jesus. You will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So if you are doing business, you are schooling, you are at the university, and you think you can make it because you are so intelligent, I want you to know this, that there are people who are watching you. When I say people, I mean evil nature that you cannot defeat. But if you remain in Jesus, your life is unstoppable and is unquestionable. If you remain in him and Jesus remain in you, how many business are you watched up for? Ni anga ma disappointment mwa fe because mulai chete kela mwebe ne mulai panga timu ni mwa kaimbi imu mwa dishu uku abula yesu mumwe wen mu family mumi enu panda la mashienu mark my word you don't know how to bolo you learn how to bolo you don't know how to be a crook you learn how to be a crook. That is outside Jesus. Anyone can be a crook. If you find yourself in that situation where you cannot understand your life anymore, the only way to survive is to, I mean, to start lying or crooking people. Jesus is not a man that you can deceive with your appearance. The way you appeared before all these members of the church no one could see that this one is a drunker, is a smoker, but Jesus knew your heart that this one is a drunker, is a smoker. And when you are smoking and drinking, fighting, gossiping, you are outside Jesus. 
And Jesus cannot stay inside you because of the life that you are living. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. Verse 6. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that has been thrown away and with us. Such branches are picked up and thrown into fire and burned. If you do not remain in Jesus, you are like a tree uprooted from the ground and thrown away. At the end of the day, they are going to burn you. Because Meaning, Are you getting the point? If you do not remain in Jesus, you are like, you know, such blind, uprooted, picked up, and thrown away. Even if they are fruits, I mean they are flowers, and you are ready to start bearing what? Fruits. And people could see flowers all over you. As long as you are uprooted from the ground, your flowers and you. That is outside Jesus. Verse 7. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Wonderful. If you remain in Jesus, you can ask him anything. The problem, you know, with us Christians nowadays, we want God to bless our life outside his presence. No. You want to use the name Jesus for your personal interest? Anything we receive from him is for the salvation of our soul. You are inside Jesus, you can ask him anything. Father, I want a vehicle. He will look at you for what purpose? Okay, yes, I'll give you a vehicle. There are people who have been crying, husband, children. What? Look at your motive behind that request. Are you in Jesus? And Jesus is in you? Don't forget that as long as you are not in Jesus and Jesus is not in you, Satan is in you and you are in Satan. And anything that you are crying for, Satan is there to say, he will cover you with his, you know, evil nature. And God cannot see you or hear you. Let me read this one again, verse 7. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish. If you remain in me, my words remain in you, ask anything. You came from the word. You are the word. I came from the word. I am the word. It is the word that can produce. The word remains in you. The word will give birth to the Holy Spirit. Calling the Bible without his spirit, you are calling history. Anyone can carry the Bible. Anyone can quote the Bible. There is no need for you to have a certificate for you to quote the scriptures. No. As long as you are able to read and understand the language, you can quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. It doesn't mean that the Spirit of God is involved. No. It is the language that you understand. But if you remain in Jesus, His Spirit will remain in you. And anything that you say here, even Obak you have. Check your life. You are outside Jesus. He said, I am the vine. You are the branches. You cannot live without. A, 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 a man like me cannot stand before you if it is not Jesus. A person like me cannot face you if it is not Jesus. By what capacity? <laughs> Education is zero. By what capacity? It is Jesus in me. So, people of God, the greatest achievement in this world that anyone should admire to achieve is salvation. That is the greatest achievement. 
If you remain in him, because he said he's the vine, you are the branches. Umusungu afiaro musungu. When mona kumusungu afiaro mu black. Why you put Musungu off your own black? No. Cut any punch. Cut any punch, we know, we know. Tafchit gave you. Umu black, mu black. Umusungu, musungu. Umusungu, no black, mu color to Arisa. Why are you claiming what you do not have? If you claim to be the son or the daughter of Jesus, don't forget that what you are saying physically, spiritually, you are saying something different to what is coming out of your mouth. Which can make your enemy now to take advantage of your, your spiritual blindness. Because you don't know what you are saying. You are just using the record. When you go to bed and sleep, that's when Satan now comes to say, yes, <laughs> my table, my chair, my bicycle, my vehicle. He will lie to you. He will use you. If Jesus is the center of your life, your life is unquestionable. I am not saying you will not face, you know, uh, attacks, challenges. Challenges and attacks will be there. But your understanding is beyond what you are going through. Because the one who is in you is greater than your problem. You apply patience. But take note of this word. You bear much what? As a pastor, as a servant of God, as an apostle, prophet, evangelist, whatever title that you call it, don't forget that there is a limitation in your life as a human being, as long as you are not connected to Jesus. If you start a ministry today by idea, and there are people who trust your idea, they will follow you. Yes, yeah, they will be clapping and clapping. Immediately, Satan realized that you are not cutting the man you are talking about. He will come and attack you and the church. Confusion. What you see, the church will start going where? Down. The interest, the courage, the determination that people, you know, used to have before will no longer be there. Satan will make them and this is the man who is very close to you. Every human being has limitation. It is only Jesus who has no limitation. What can make you to grow spiritually and what to make this ministry to grow spiritually is Jesus. Even your life and your business is Jesus. It is not a man like me who can boost a ministry like this one or boost your life. No, it is Jesus in your life. Are you there? Listen to this now, verse 8. This is my father's glory, that you bear much what? Fruits, showing yourself to be my disciples. Whatever you become today, glory and honor is for Jehovah Shammah. Over Yahweh, out of that things that you know you are enjoying, his glory is going back to him. You are enjoying money, you are enjoying marriage, glory is going back to him. That is the purpose. Why do you want to make a name and continue enjoying, you know, that you are this, you are that, you are this, you are that? No, people of God. If you become a minister today, let glory and honor. Go to him. Because at the end of your tenure, you may end up going to prison. If you don't know this. You are a manager today. Jesus is not involved. Ha. Huh. You misbehave in that office. At the end of your tenure as a manager, there will be a case to answer. Every human being has limitation. Law is on the paper. Law is blind, but the Spirit of God is not what? It's blind. Anywhere where you go, the Spirit of God will follow you to tell you the future, what you are doing today, the outcome of what you are doing, what will be what you face tomorrow. There, you'll be conscious of what you are doing. In your marriage, 
you be conscious of what you are doing. Everything that you, whether it is in business, people of God, as long as Jesus is not involved, there is limitation. I hope this message is clear to your, to your heart. There is what? Human being has no capacity to accommodate thousands or millions of people or trillions of dollars. No. It is the capacity of God Almighty. I'm not talking about the one that the world can give to the people of this world. I'm talking about the one that you receive from your father as a child of God. You are learning a church. You are depending on the number of people. Seated, and then you feel good to say, you see the crowd say, yes, <laughs> I'm powerful. <laughs> uh, I'm powerful. Uh, Satan will attack all those people. Next time they will not see them. To be thinking about how to a strategy now. Oh, people of God, we are forming now groups uh, for evangelism. Ah. Because you are not, you know, part of Jesus, and Jesus is not part of you. Your life is limited. You are working today, you get your pension. Instead of you utilizing that pension, because Jesus is not involved, Satan will limit your pension. You not, you know, increase that money. But if you remain in him, you bear much what? Fruits. Listen to this statement, I like it. Verse 8, this is my father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. I walked where Jesus was walking when I was in Israel, and I saw that this is not, you know, something that any human being can joke with. If you look at the prison where they throw him, where Jesus spent a night, the, the, the day that he was arrested, it was not a, a prison. No proper oxygen. There's no toilet, no water, no sun. You are such a person. You are living that life of Christ. I watched everything. You know, I've been preaching about Jesus. By the grace of God, Jesus took me now to Israel to see exactly the land of the Bible. I was working on the scripture. There's no need for me to lead you. Oh, this is the place, yes. They arrested me, yes. This is the, they are, there is what they call ancient what? Stairs, where he, he was walking the time he was arrested. I said, man, let me stand here. So that I need a pocket like a clock here. That is what we are here for. The treatment that this man went through because of you and me. He knew that no human being can survive the treatment of this world. Even our leaders, don't be deceived by anyone telling you that I love you. It is only Jesus who understands you and loves you. There is no leader here on earth who loves you more than Jesus. Every human being's love is on children. They are just deceiving us that, oh, I love you. No. They are making money. Yes, ta pangire porupi apakura and that's not Yes, ta folele po paku mifuila. He was beaten, insulted, and crucified for your freedom. There is no, no human being here on earth who can do that for you. It is only Jesus. I was watching everything closely. I said, hey, I am here to learn. I am here to learn. I am here to learn. If you look at the houses where these people, 
Aya manda mwikala moyasuma. Bale ikala mwabwe. Sidi ndi. Firavine mwimbile vati mwaimbile mwanga mwalikuwa tembu wapayati atomo isiadile. But look at the joy. Look at the happiness. You bear much fruit if you remain in Jesus. Can I take you to 1 John chapter 2? Let me just speak verse 6. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Christ did. I mean, Jesus did. Whoever claims, you can lead maybe from verse 3, but I'm just speaking verse 6 to marry this one to the one I'm talking about. If you claim to know him or you believe in him, Claiming that you are the son of Jesus, but contrary to what you are doing, Satan and his demons are watching you. Personally, I don't want to end my life the way my father, my grandfather ended their journey. No, 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 no. Think about your life after you leave this world. Because of your hand. If you bear much fruit, fruit could be, you know, spiritual or physical, material things. And human beings will benefit. And you show yourself to the world that you are the disciple of Jesus. I was looking at the Sea of Galilee, uh, looking at the water where someone can just walk, uh, or I say, ah, if they fish can I yes, you winga fish it's not a small river. It's not a stream. It is a lake. And if someone can walk in that water, meaning he is water, he created water. Nothing that can work against what you create. Nothing that can rise against you, the source. This is why Jesus wants to introduce his life to you so that you live like him. Money will obey you. Everything will obey you. Whatever you want to do will obey you. But you want to live with your senses because you are educated. Hmm, I feel for you. Because devil it doesn't, you know, fear anyone. Whether educated, non-educated, rich or poor, he will come for you. He followed Jesus and he knew that this man is filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus was tempted. 40 days, 40 nights. Imanga ba mieshe mikushibidi. Na ufiori mwa nakashifi o mukashana. Mukashana, fi wako nkere mikushinga. Uwa number three ukasumina. Ukachitashani. Oma muri umu mwariba kene puwe mikushinga. Padile lo. I'm talking to you people of God. 40 days, 40 what? This is five million dollars. Uh -huh. Again, the following day, back to my phone, now turn to Kenya, po, na letter upon a imbi, five million dollars. Upitulu kemo, na ya. Walachita consult number. He liked the ice of But he was tempted for 40 days, 40 nights. And Satan was showing different kinds of things to say, if you worship me, all these things will be yours. The word of God was the one who was answering Satan. It is written. It is written. It is written. It is written for you. First in Peter Kemo. Mwa nakashinga kwa first in Peter Kemo. Nishi na sumina. Tefo vini. Kanonga kwa watu mulibachi beleshi. 
Tamwa kwa tama no imwe vena ni tamu ton ton kanya ni shina ba kuka na ni shina ba itashan. Again the following day you come back with another trunk of million dollars to say okay wadin to come my but you know I feel for you. My interest is not you. I just want to boost your life. So think about this one. Because of money, you cannot, you know, overcome this temptation. That is when you are standing on your own. But with Jesus inside you, that money will be useless. You will see that money like shit. Whether it is five million, twenty million dollars to you, Christ is more than twenty million what dollars. With Christ in your heart, you can make more than that money. Satan, I want to buy your destiny so that you continue living under his bondage. This is my message. Today is third uh, September. 2023. Remain in Jesus. The life of every believer depends on Jesus. Life yon dashin tiri la palupia. Pesa mbiri lo. Pari family mwa kwata. No, 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 no. When Satan is attacking you, he will not look at how many, you know, brothers you have or sisters or how much money is there in the account. Or what type of vehicles are you driving? Or which area where you are? No. It is, the life is targeting. So the life of every believer depends on Jesus. Are you ready to go and bear much fruit? Hmm? You cannot receive anything from Jesus for personal gain. Whatever you receive from him, it is for the salvation of your soul. Living outside him, your life is in danger. Your life is where? Is in danger. I want to encourage you. I want to see the foundation of our faith in Israel. To see where Jesus, you know, was walking, where he was killed, the way he was walking. If you look at Galilee and Bethlehem, is 150 something kilometers. It was just, you know, footing. No vehicle, no proper shoes. For you and me. What we read from the Bible, they don't put, you know, distance. They just, Jesus, Aingira Mugalini. If you go there, you see the distance. Where you are driving two hours with high speed. Two hours you are driving, two hours plus. I'm encouraging you. Personally, I want to remind you that this is another level of faith in our life as Christians. We may not see the fruit today, but tomorrow we are going to see the fruit. Let us remain in him so that we go and bear much fruit. Let us go and show the world that we are the disciple of Jesus. How? The power and the grace of God must be seen in you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.